Alrighty everyone, we are back here for part four of our Hogwarts Legacy playthrough and we've had ultimate craziness, just it's been incredible so far. In the last episode, we went to Hogsby for the first time, we got our real wand, not our hand-me-down we were using, um, and a couple other things for class, but we did just get a letter uh, from our owl, from Professor Fig, that says we need to meet up and talk about what happened in that very first cutscene of the game. So we're going to head over there now and see what else we can find on our way there. Um, it has been like two days since I've played, so I just want to make sure I do have everything. Okay, da da da. Protego. Alright, so. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Running. Okay, I got all my buttons down. We're all good. And I still don't have a. Don't look at me like that. Do not be looking at me like that. Alright. Anyways, Gryffindor common room. We haven't been here since uh, our very first day. Um, what are you up to now? Don't talk to me like that. Um, but I don't know if there's anything going on in here. Might be somebody we can talk to. Do we have any friends in here? Uh, ooh, big chest. Oh, house chest. I don't think we have any friends in here, but still, in all honesty, we could explore this place for so long. Oh, nearly headless Nick, what's going on? Hey, my guy, how you doing? Okay, we're not talking today, <laughs> that's cool. All right, but we are going to be heading out of here. Oh, we're gonna have an apple first though. All right, that's cool. All right, we are gonna head out of here and see what we- Fight from this frame. Hmm. Okay. Ghosts hanging out all over the place. Revelio. Looks like there's a chest right outside this uh, wall here. So we will not be getting to that today. But we should be able to find some other things to uh, mess with on our way here. So, yeah. So we are exiting our common room. We gotta go see Professor Fig. I don't know what class he actually teaches. It's probably a good question. <gasps> no, I wanted to say hi to him. It's so sad that house sells are a thing, but... Or at least the slavery part. Like, obviously, don't want to kill him or anything, but... It's sad. Um... Oh, okay. So this is... Okay. So I never knew what this menu was. Um... That's for to change up the spells that we have on that uh, wheel on the bottom right, but... Take a moment to allow our music to suit your heart. Okay. All right, anyways, I enjoyed it, but we do have to move on at some point. Revelio. Ooh, what is this? There we go, field guy page. Map of a Galishiar. Hmm. And there is our level up we were so close to last episode. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go again. What is he doing up here? What? Oh, just craziness Rebellion. everywhere. Oh, gimme, gimme. Another one. Lachlan the Lanky. Sorry, didn't mean to push you. All right, so I'm getting very distracted. We have to go see Professor Fig. Um, there's just so many ghosts, every, so many moving parts going on everywhere. It's kind of the beauty of this place. Um, Whee! Oh. Uh, oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Wee! Okay, you 
Jesus. Revelio. Peeves is just a menace. The haunted toilets. Obviously, don't want to be going in there with Peeves messing around in there. But let's keep it moving. I feel like we're making some kind of ground, but if we just stop getting distracted all the time, we can make a lot more. But. Whew, just amazing. I feel like I could play this game for weeks and weeks and I would still be amazed by looking at stuff, but beauty is only a small part of this game. It's just amazing in so many facets. It's quite incredible. And I'm not getting startled by the suits of armor anymore. I know they're going to be moving. Rebellion. And no matter what, every room you go into, there is always something going on. So, there's a chest in there. Can I get in there? This feels like the type of thing where you can. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm Ooh. most pleased to be included. We're in a bathroom. Uh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I... I'm gonna be honest, guys. I never thought I would have this much fun in a video game exploring a bathroom. But, there we are. Alright, so I need to... I need to stop. I need to... Revelio. Go in here. Here's this classroom. What class is this? Is this uh... Like, I don't even know what class this is. Huh. Guess we'll probably find out while we're in here. Stroll right into his office, no questions asked. You got anything in here? No, all right. Let's get to talking. Professor. I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to? They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Oh, that's good. At the very least. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. Okay. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. That's fair. That's honestly a... It's a pretty fair uh, decision. I'll take that. Um, so I still don't know what class he teaches. Uh, 
Uh, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts, a fifth year, if you could believe it. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them. Uh, I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Okay, so he got assigned to us by... Revelio. Right below us. Huh. Well, let's leave here. I think it is a perfect time that we should check out our quest log and see what's going on. Um, secrets of the restricted section. We have to learn. I think before we do anything, let's talk to... Uh, let's go to this unrestricted dueling club they were talking about. Nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, so now you're gonna be nice to me. That's cool. Um, downstairs. We gotta go see what this thing's all about. We put it to the side for a little bit. I want to see if I might have misjudged this guy a little bit. I was kind of rude just because he was slithering, but seems to like he gets into trouble. If I could undo all the but I kind of want to see what he's up to. He might not be as bad as I first thought. Lucan's just over there. Oh, there you are. So we're in the clock tower for the Revenue. first time. Repair. No. I thought we could maybe could fix something over here. Our first time in the clock tower. And here we are. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? You bet. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Hmm. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Okay. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Aya, let's go Get for me it. In the ring. Yeah. Spectacular. Let the fireworks begin. Let's not waste any time. Come on. We'll make you regret signing up. Listen, I'm not one to hate. I know I got a goofy hat on, but uh Okay, break through yellow shields with control spells like the levitation spell Levioso, target lock lets you track enemies without aiming. Okay. Bam. Okay. This is. Bam, bam, bam. How do I. How do I dodge again? Okay, circle. Whoa. I. Painful. Yeah, hold up. All right, out? now now that I'm here. Yes, don't count me out yeah. yet. Brilliant. Give me a second chance here. Now that I know what's going on, I'm I'm on it now, guys. What's going on? There we go. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. Oh, not Lumos. There we go. Keep him up. Two on one. Bam.
Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Much better than the last time. Yeah, there we go. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Okay. Again, congratulations on your first crossed ones victory. Well fought. There we go. Hope to see you back here again. All right, so the different colored shields correspond to what kind of spell we have to throw out at them. So we always know that. All right, and now let's take a look at what quests are going on now. Okay, so we that's... Um, no more side quests on our thing. Let's see if there's anything available on the map itself. Anything we haven't discovered. What's going on over here? So... Alright, you know what? We can explore while we're over here. Um, let's go explore. Just wait till I've grown a bit. Then we'll see how well you do. Oh, really? I feel sorry for your next opponent. There you go. At least they got respect for me. Because I'll put you down again if you don't. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep it moving. And we are finally here. Let's see what's going on. Might some kind soul help me? I'll be that kind soul. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. All right, so we got a new side quest going. She needs her gobstones found. And it looks like we know where they are. So let's go see if we can figure out how to get these gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Where are her gobstones? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's there, gobstones. There, I see it. Akio. Oh, that's one ah, of Zenobia's okay. gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. So it's just Akio's. I can do that. All right, let's get around and grab these up real quick. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. All right, so we're at the divination classrooms up here. There we go. There's another one. Can we go into the divination classroom? We can. Well, let's check it out while we're here.
Revelio. Interesting classroom. Hmm. <sighs> Mudiva Unai. Under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as deputy headmistress to offer you the position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Uh, we are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions. Oh, that's awesome. They just got a new job. Oh. Hi. Didn't mean to burst into your classroom. I will be uh, heading out if I can figure out how to get down the ladder. Sorry. I'll get out now. All right. Anyways, let's get back to finding these gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, Alright, well there's the gobstone. No, I need the book. Yep. And there's the page. Okay, there we go. Alright, two for one. There we go. Grabbing field guide pages, grabbing gobstones. We're doing it all. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Ravenclaw Tower. Oh, there it is. Right there. You're mine. Alright, so we're at Ravenclaw Tower the first time, but we'll keep moving. Whoa! That was so cool. I was wondering why it was leading me into a... Empty ledge. This is gonna be another one? Their tower is so sick! What the heck? This is awesome. We're not doing one of those doors. I, I can't. I haven't figured them out yet, and they're so annoying. We're gonna keep it moving. The grand I've stick. Always said that travel broadens the All the way up the steps. Woo, we're getting high up here. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Got some more Wigan World push in the trophy room. Rebellion. Gobstone. Accio. All right. Is there another Gobstone in here? Rebellion. It's saying to come in here. Do you guys see it? I, cause I do not. It's gotta look high. Unless I'm blind. Oh. Accio. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. All right, and now let's get back to her. You can't imagine how inconvenient. All right, let's see if uh, we got to get all the way back here. We'll we'll use blue powder for the first, well, the second time, but first time in our own travels when Professor Weasley didn't make us take it. Just because we've been traveling around for such a long time trying to get those. And we want to keep this episode moving, you know? Uh, there we go. Moving on through, moving on through. Zenobia. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. I did. I'm not sure you really tried, I'm going to be honest. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well... <clears throat> May I have my gobstones back? <laughs> no, I think I'll keep them. <laughs> no, of course, I'll give them back. Of course, they are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. All right. Uh, I feel like we will see something from that girl again, because she seems like she's just willing to get herself into all kinds of problems with everybody. But what I do want to check out is if we have any new gear, because I thought I just saw something. That is kind of cool. We'll throw that on there. Um, any face wear? All right, so we'll throw that on, but we're gonna change the appearance. I don't 
really want to wear glasses, so we're going to go with it looks like nothing for now. Obviously, we all have all of our dark art stuff, and we could definitely throw that on at some point. I don't think I'm ready for it just yet, but that's out of the way. Um, and anyways, I think um, after getting a side quest out of the way, I think it might be time to go head over to Professor Hecat's assignment and see what they have for us. Oh, here we are, in her class. Revelio. Revelio. All right, anyways. Hey, girl. Ah, I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Good word. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. Okay. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Okay. You know where to find me once you've finished. I'm assuming right here. All right. Win two rounds of crossed wands. Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. All right. Going back to the unsanctioned dueling club that no one knows about. All right. I'll see you guys when I get there. Already entering back into the clock tower. Let's get our Ready second. for another round? Yeah, let's get our second I round in. So. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. Hello, Lucan. I know. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Yes, I am. I'm ready. Let's do it. I need it for class. Ryan, are you dueling with a partner? I want to go Sebastian. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. He's kind of growing on me. He seems like he'll be a better dueler. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Oh, we're doing a 3v1. Okay, break your violet shields with four spells like something. Okay, yep, obviously it's the color coded shields. Um, oh, whoa. Oh, okay. Bam, 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 bam. I gotta stick. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Bam! Whoa, we are moving, okay. So as long as we can keep up with all the um defending ourselves. Stupid Bam. Stupefy go back at him. No, no, stop it. I'm trying. Bam. Throw it back. Stupid Bam. Accio, break your shield. Oh, I missed the I missed the Protego. That's okay though. Back up. Bam. Break your shield. Hit him again. Bam bam. Ow. Okay. There we go. Victory. Woo. All right. This is getting interesting now. Our health was a little low, but we have plenty wow, of heals. Bye. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. Or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Okay. Hope to see you then. Awesome. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. All right, so that's that. Got another level up. Seems I'm out of the tournament thanks to you. Oh, well, it's because you suck, sorry. 
Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. All right, there we go. Ready to have a try now? Yeah. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. Okay. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. All right. Let's get the sum for class. Cast Accio, followed by four consecutive. Accio. And bam, bam. There we go. All right. That's it. Levioso. Levioso. Bam, 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 bam. This is so cool. I can't even. Excellent four. Levioso. Oh, I'm sorry. I messed up. All right. Bam, one, two, three. Accio, bring him in. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's how we chain them together. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Alrighty. So now that that's done, we can head. Assignment tool finished. There we go. And we can head back to Professor Hecat. Perhaps I should stick to potions. Perhaps you should. You could have gone a bit easier on me. Uh, I didn't want to lose. And you already told me you hate me for knocking you out. So, my bad. Alrighty, so we are back at the Defense Against the Dark Guards classroom. Ooh. Rebellion. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. Yet indeed. Page on the skeleton, and now let's work on this incendio. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Uh, Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. All right, let's see. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. I will indeed. Let's go for it. Bam. Bam. One more. Bam. Incendio. There we go. So we got that. Let's use it. You have learned enough spells that you'll need to equip Incendio to your spell set. To do this, you can just swap it with a different spell. Good work. All right. So we want Incendio. Okay. Honestly, I don't think we're going to really need Reparo. It doesn't seem like it uh, does much. Um, hover over Incendio, hold R2. Oh, okay, yeah. So we have all four types of the things, because it looks like there's four colors, so... That way we're covered if we get into a battle. And there we go. So... Let's try it. Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So anyways, let's go return to Professor Fig's classroom. Alrighty, we are back. What's going on? My man Fig's a... Where's he at? Oh, he's back. Ah, there you are. What do you mean? I've, I've been waiting here. What you got? Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear she tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. 
Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. What a jerk. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Well... That's something. But... It looks like he wants us to talk to Sebastian, so we can definitely do that. If I know Sebastian, he's gonna want to break in. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Huh. Well... I don't want to cut you guys short, because I know we haven't gotten a ton of story progression, but... It is a little long, and I do... Uh, wait, obviously, we gotta pet the cat. Gotta pet the kitty cat, obviously. Let's go find Sebastian. I believe he's right down here. Oh my god, another one? You're lying. There's a... Okay. Who let the cats out? Uh, we'll keep it moving, though. We're gonna head right over here. And our man Sebastian is hanging out right here. And honestly, I hate to let it go right now, but this is going to be a really, really interesting next episode. It looks like we're going to be sneaking into the restricted section. Original Harry Potter style, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications down below. And honestly, I just can't wait for the next part of this. This game is insane. It's so hard for me to put it down. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys back for the next part of our Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. Catch you guys then.